Κύριος Άγνιο, από την Ευρώπη Ελευθερίας και Δημοκρατίας. Well, I hope nobody minds if a farmer gives a quick science lesson to you all. First, the title of this Chris Davis report, which I hope will never become law, should be carbon dioxide capture and storage, not just the solid carbon. And as a farmer, of course, I like CO2. It is absolutely essential. It grows my sugar beet as they photosynthesize and take it from the air. It grows my pasture for my sheep. And of course, it grows the wheat to feed my chickens. So I like it. It's good for me and it's good for all farmers. What is more, the more CO2 there is in the atmosphere, the faster our crops will grow. And if you don't believe me, try it in a greenhouse. Suppose you were to succeed and actually remove huge quantities of CO2 from the atmosphere. We couldn't grow our crops. You're going to have to learn to live on the diet of fungus and mushrooms. Then there's the atmospheric uh, greenhouse effect. As most people now know, CO2 is also useful uh, to keeping the planet warm by absorbing the sun's rays and preventing the whole planet from icing up, just like North America at the moment, with its polar vortex coming down from the Arctic. Of course, scientists tell us that CO2 is only a very minor greenhouse gas and that water vapor in the atmosphere is responsible for over 80% of the greenhouse gas effect on the Earth. And even the Greens won't want to get rid of water vapor. So what is this all about carbon? What, what, what's the problem here? Well, you want money, don't you? The EU loves its fuel duty, its VAT on gas and electricity, and of course carbon allowances for big industry, taxing our jobs away to other countries and making our bills ever higher and blaming the power industry. Of course, some scientists support carbon capture storage, but then they get subsidies and grants from the EU, so they would, wouldn't they? And I am reminded of the anaerobic digester nonsense that's going on on farms at the moment, where we pour energy into growing maize with fertilizer and horsepower, uh, saying how clever we are in reducing emissions, to then go and take this to a, to a digester to burn it. Thank you. Thank you, colleague uh, Agnew. Fernando.